Okay, today we got this in the mail <clears throat> from Amazon. And uh, I'm going to install it. We'll see what it's got in the box first. Obviously, this, but let's see what it comes out. It looks like. Okay, we have a couple of things here, which are handles. Another one, one or two of them. And the seat itself. As well as some bolts with wing nuts on the end and a few washers. Alright, that's all that comes in the box. And this is what it looks like. I notice on the back of it, or the other side of it, it shows you the shape of the toilet that it's meant for. It can go on an elongated bowl or a standard round bowl. This one has the standard round bowl checked off, so we know that's the one we got. I'm going to go into the bathroom, verify that. This is a standard round bowl. So we're going to start off by taking the seat and the cover off of the bowl. And we're going to do that by flipping these little uh, covers over. They just you put your finger behind them. Flip them up, and you'll see that there's a uh, Phillips or a straight head plastic bolt, it looks like. And you can reach underneath here, hang on to the bottom as you're undoing the top. So I'm going to get that off of there right now. Okay, I only needed a screwdriver right here. And as you see, I got the screws out. This, these are just nylon screws. They're made of nylon so that they don't break the porcelain by being installed with too much torque. So as you can see, these are the holes. The seat's free to pick up off of here now. So I'm gonna move the whole thing. I don't expect it to be super clean. But not dirty either. It's not really that bad. I'm gonna get this out of here and then I'm gonna clean this toilet this toilet. Okay, now here's the new one going on. Just got it down on the floor for now, as you can see. I'm gonna snap the handles into it. These are what they look like. Push into the hole right here. There's one hole right there. And there's another one. Another one up here. So I'm going to push this in. And I have to show you with one. There's a little button right here. You're going to push. You're going to push slide in at the same time. You can do that over this side also. See how they snap in place? And there, you've got one handle on there. I'm hoping there's going to be enough room. It's just barely enough room with this device here. But that's okay. So we're going to do that with the same with the other one. Right now. I'm going to push this. And 
I believe that's how it goes. You can see so far so good. Now I gotta go get the hardware, put it on here. You're gonna notice here on top it has like slots. So there's some adjustability. And you'll notice this is this is tight and that's slotted. So you can move this forward or backward to adjust it to fit the right spot. You put you end up using the cover. Work with the same seat. So everything ends up being the same except it has an extension in it. Let's see if we can get it together. Okay, we got it on there. Looks pretty good. Now we just got to tighten down these two things, make them tighter, make these tighter, then flip that over. Flip them over, snap them down. And I gotta get a screwdriver right now and tighten them up. And that's it. Probably took uh, 20 minutes. Actually, counting washing and all that might have took might have took a half hour to do this. But it's done. And the seat goes up too. That's all there is to it. Pretty simple. Fits perfect. Proof will be in the pudding, but <laughs> all I can say is that it looks right. It looks like uh, what was wanted in here. This is good for uh, people who have uh, bad knees and you don't want to be so low to the floor and have to push up an extra four or five inches off the floor when uh, you can already be up that high. I think that's the main benefit to this for people who have uh, leg issues, pretty sure.